All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Majima. Start calling. Came back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on their glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakwadash. Double honors the Apostle and those a great millstorm teaching us warm sin truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings to all the elect of the nation of Israel. Today's the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Shai. I'm the Brother Aiza. Your Brother Nakwam. And we will get to a Lord's will and edifying lesson. On seeking the Lord, you know, seeking your power, Yahweh by Shema Yahweh. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls uh, God and Jesus Christ. You know, now is the time to seek Him. You know, scriptures talk about, you know, seek and ye shall find. You know, search the scriptures, for in them you think to have eternal life. So our people should be searching these scriptures because in this, in this, in this, uh, in this word, you know, the 100% truth, you know, coming, uh, forth out of great millstone, we're starting with the apostle knows a great millstone is the way of salvation. You see, you got it. This is Isaiah chapter 55 verse six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Yeah, seek ye the Lord. The Lord, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to seek him. He wants you to search for him, you know, and where do you find the characteristics, what pleases the Lord, you know, what he's all about. Lo and behold, the, the Holy Bible, you know, which all of these Christians have on their uh, on their nightstands at night, but ain't nobody opening up the book and reading it. You see? Go ahead. Read it's it again. A, uh, Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes, yeah, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, because right now it's, it's this grace period. We've been allotted this grace period, you know, for this, you know, for uh, uh, ever since the late uh, 60s, you know, until this very point, you know, the truth has been being pushed out into the world, and now it's mainstream on uh, YouTube, it's on these all of these other uh, social media platforms, the scriptures say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out to all the earth, and their words, the words of the prophets, you see, that prophesied war, evil, and pestilence unto the ends of the world, so you heard the warning, you heard the trumpet being blown of our Lord coming back, you know, now, when we're at the height of prophecy, there's going to come a time where the Lord is going to withdraw his men from off these streets, you know, and the warning is going to be done, and now judgment is going to be here. So before that judgment comes, seek the Lord. Right. Uh, it says, call ye upon him while he is near. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 7. Yep. Verse 7, it says, let the, wick, let the wicked forsake his way. Yeah, let the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans forsake uh, the way that you've been living. You know, uh, do as thou wilt. You know, scriptures say there is a way. Get Psalms 119 and 1 real quick. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna live my life this way. I think this is the best way to live my life down here upon the earth. And you, and you, and you see that to, be, uh, you know, have done our people wrong. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms 119 verse 1. It says, "Blessed are the undefiled in the way." Who walk in the law of the Lord Yeah, blessed are the undefiled You see, they're undefiled by the ways of this world The different philosophies and doctrines The ways, the lies that this place promotes And say that, you know, this way is better You know, the way of Babylon is better than what The Heavenly Father originated us to live down here upon the earth Which, that's false You see, the way of the Lord It says, bless, you know Blessed goes in what highly favored. You know you're highly favored in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. If you keep His ways, you keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Which that was the whole reason why the Lord gave us the commandments so we can follow them, because those were the instructions on uh, the the correct way to live down here upon the earth. That's right. Three verse two. Uh, verse two. It says, "Blessed are they." That keep his testimonies. Uh -huh, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You want to keep, you know, the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai always in your mind. You know, understanding what the Lord has to come to this world, this wicked civil kingdom called America, which is utter destruction. And that should move you with fear to walk with eggshells, you know, walk as you're walking on eggshells when it comes to you serving the Lord, you know? Go ahead. It says, and that seek him with a whole heart. And that seek him with their whole heart, with their whole mind, you know, all their strength. You should be constantly, uh, this, this, you should be, uh, this word should engulf you. You see what I mean? You should, that's why it talks about you being baptized, you being fully submerged in the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai in this doctrine. You see? Find the things that please the Lord. Keep going. Verse 3. Yeah. It says, they also do no iniquity. Uh-huh. They walk in his ways. Yeah, they also do no iniquity because we're going to sin. But iniquity is sin upon sin upon sin. 
You know, so they also do no iniquity. I mean, you sin upon sin. Mm-hmm. You see, and they walk in his ways. So what? We sin. You know, if we do sin, we repent. We ask the Lord for forgiveness. You see? But what? We walk in all the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai to the best of our ability, of course. You know, because our righteousness is as filthy rags. Uh, go back to Isaiah 55. Got you. And uh, 7, you start at the top again. I got you. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7 it says let the wicked forsake his way uh -huh. and the unrighteous man his thoughts yeah let the wicked of you so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans stop following the ways of America and the unrighteous man his thoughts you see what I mean oh we doing this right you know this this is the right this is the right way to do it you know well, that's that's false you know because a lot of our people you know in their thought patterns you know them doing the things that they do is is leading to their destruction you know they're wondering why they're being judged by the most high is jacking them up you know every every dick i talk to is catching holy hell right now and they don't know why the hell is why these things are happening to them it's because you're not seeking you by shaman with shy scriptures say that evil men understand not judgment but they that seek the lord understand all things you see if you if you were seeking the lord you understand why you're going through the things you're going through. Keep going. It says, and let him return unto the Lord. Uh-huh. And he will have mercy upon him. Yeah, so unto those that repent, <clears throat> the Most High is granting you return. You see, he's granting you access back. You know, and he's going to have mercy upon you. Because with Yahweh by Shema Lashai, there is mercy. You know, because the Most High is a righteous judge. And he's judging. He's going to judge everyone in these last days according to the measure, according to things, according to their uh, doings, their actions down here upon the earth. So if you repent and you show yourself uh, humbly, you know, contrite spirit, you know, remorseful, you know, the Most High is going to have mercy upon you. Because the Most High, he wants to have mercy upon his people. But a lot of our people, two-thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are just rebellious. You know, they refuse to hearken, and they're, pull, they're pulling away the shoulder. You know, they don't want to get in this house, you know, which is going to be that cover, this truth, this that, which is going to be this covering, you know, in the time of all hell breaking loose. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yeah, to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to abundantly pardon our sins you know if we return if we uh uh if we repent you know for you. come on come on you got it this is uh what is it give me a second yep this is amos five and four for thus saith the lord unto the house of israel seek ye me and ye shall live you go, bro. yeah so this is all about seeking the lord man how do you seek the lord you seek the lord through his prophets man okay why you still have time, man? Because Amos 8 and 11 is about to be, uh, be fulfilled very, very soon, man. So it would behoove you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians to get this uh, this truth while you still can and become a spiritual living creature, man. Why you still got time. Yeah, you can jump to that. Yeah, we'll close down that. Which one's that one? Amos 8 and 11. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Amos 8. Because you're watching... If you're watching, if, you, if you're paying the close attention, I mean, why, why, why you think all this is happening right now? Why you think brothers is going to these other sites, you know, these other social media platforms? Which I saw an article dealing with uh, Odyssey. They're saying that they're gonna start cracking down starting November 6th. There goes that uh, date, November, uh, January 6th again. You see, starting January 6th, they're gonna start cracking down on hate speech, things that speak against, uh, mis things that pr uh, push misinformation. So, I mean, so it's going to be the same thing over there, you know what I mean, eventually. But, but eventually, what, what's going to happen is the street teaching is going to stop, you know, and Esau Edom is just going to shut off the internet, you know. And then then what you're going to do when the knowledge of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, when this light is taken out of the world, you see, and, uh, and, and you're left in other darkness, you see. But that light is going to be in the minds of the elect, and they're going to have a pathway you know, and know how to navigate themselves when all hell is breaking loose. You see? Yep. This is Amos 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That's right. So the famine of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shema and Shai, that's, 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 that's near. You know, that's that's another prophecy. That's another major prophecy. 
You know, that's going to, uh, 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 you know, before the Lord comes back. That's going to, this, this has not happened yet. You know, you got guys saying, coming on the comment board saying this has happened, you know. But mm -hmm. nah, it's about, it, it, it's about to happen. Mm -hmm. You see, of us hearing the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, it's about to happen again for sure. You see, yep. the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shah, the Lord is going to cause their mouth to cleave to the roof of their tongue. And they shall not be a reprover unto the children of Israel anymore. You see, so we're not going to be out here correcting you for forever. You know what I mean? Just yelling to the top of our lungs on the highways and byways telling you to repent. That That's why it comes to end. Judgment has to come. You know, as the Lord, word of the Lord go forth, you see what I mean? It it, it, it will not return unto, it, it, unto him void. But it's going to accomplish that which he please. You see? Mm -hmm. You got it. Verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east. Who's they wandering? If you wandering, you're lost. You don't know where the hell you're going. You're mm -hmm. wandering. Oh, I mean, I'm looking here. Mm -hmm. I'm going over there. You're wandering. Like, I don't, I don't know where is that. You're not going to be able to find the men. If you do find the men, read uh, Jeremiah 15 and 1. Mm -hmm. If you do find the men, the most high can have it where you don't know where the hell. Uh, you, oh, hey, have you seen those guys? You're talking right to one of the guys. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? So, ultimately, the Most High is going to hide his elect. You know, he's going to hide the men with the truth. You know, he's going to protect the believers. You know, that's why it's time to get this wisdom. Because our people are going to be out here wondering. You know, they're going to be faint and thirst. You see what I mean? But we're going to have those spiritual uh, 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 si uh, those those spiritual uh, cups in our hand. You see what I mean? Drinking this water. Drinking this uh, knowledge. You know, which is going to be the stability of our times. Mm-hmm. It says, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So that's the penalty for you waiting. You know, I, had, I had somebody tell me, you know, yeah, I'm looking for something, but, you know, I'll find it eventually. You know, it's not mm. that big of a deal. Mm. I mean, if you're looking for something, for one, that means you lost. And two, you don't got all day. You don't got all day to, to find this knowledge. You don't got all day, you know, to seek the Lord, to find out what pleases Yah by Shema Shai, you know, and get with the program and get in order before judgment comes. But with that, Lord's one, you're edified. We give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Karkwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us where we send truth according to Bible rule well and peace and blessings so for like to the nation of Israel. Next time we say shalom. Shalom.